I'm Paul Kidwell. I'm Dan Eakin. And in this segment, we're going to delve into the software that we have running on the Blinking Lights project. Um, we have it set up here, and we've slowed things down a little bit so that it's uh, a little easier to see on the video. Um, and uh, we have our programming cable plugged in, and I've tied into my laptop here. Okay. So we can actually take a look at the uh, code that's Let's running. Let's go ahead and move this off to one and side. And we then. have to do our very crude screen capture capability here. But uh, what I've done is our whole program we're running is from here to here. And the first thing we do, there's a set of, uh, there's an array set up, 10 bytes, one for each shift register on the board. Okay. And we zero them out, and then we set the uh, least significant bit in the least significant register to a one. Okay. And then this loop here, all that's doing is every time through, it shifts over one bit. Okay. So all 80 bits get shifted over one. And when we reach the end, it'll clear out all of them and then sit, set that first bit for us. Okay. Again. All right. And that's creating the wave pattern that we see. That's creating okay. that, the, the lights uh, sweeping across there. Right, right. And we have uh, the, this line here, SR, that's calling the shift register routine that actually sends the message out. Now, and is that user-defined, or is that something that came with the... No, that's something I had to write. And that's something you had to write. And let's scroll up. That's the whole routine there. Okay. And it's a set of nested uh, for loops. Okay. The inner one handles the individual bits for the register. The outer one handles the 10 registers. Okay. So, and it basically it sets up the output bit as a one or a zero, depending on you know whether the bit's set or not. Sure. And uh, toggles it out. And then after we've done all uh, 10 registers, all 80 bits, this is where it toggles the latch down at the bottom. Okay, all right. All right. Now, one thing we can do here, I will get us down to the bottom. Way down to the bottom here. I have this block of code commented out, and this is set up to reprogram the board to do something a little different. So what I'll do is right here, I will, well, it's going to throw a wobbly when I try to change something. There, the board is stopped now. Right. Um, I'm going to comment out the block at the top that uh, does our little wavy bit there. You should probably leave the delay in there in order to... Ah, uh, no, they got another one down at the bottom already. Oh, okay. So now this block is commented out and this is active. Oh, and there's your delay 33. And then, then I got a delay down here. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I have it set up so that each register is a counter. And we're going to count frames on the video. Okay. And the first register is going to count up to 10. The next register up to 3. So the two together gives us 30. And then the next is 10 and then 6. So these two together give us 60. So 30 frames in a second. 60 seconds in a minute, and then 10 and 6 again, so 60 minutes in an hour, and then the remaining uh, registers are going to count hours. Okay. So to reprogram our board, we go right there, and that will transmit the software to the card. And then I can hit Run over here, which is Run Program. And now we have a frame counter. So let's go ahead and move the laptop to a side and we'll bring this back in. So now it's going to be interesting it. to see if you single step this video. Um, this is advancing once a second. Okay. So, and you can see you've got one light, the other light, and then both off. So it's counting. Zero to, ten, um, zero to 10, so both lights would be off in that period. Okay. 10 to 19, so the first light would be on. Okay. And then 20 to 29, so the second light would be on. And then when you hit 30, you don't actually display 30, you wrap around to zero and you okay. increment this one by one. Sure. And this is binary coded decimal right now, meaning four bits are being used for each of the registers. 
And the reason why it's not, if it was packed, it would be like these four bits would be in the second half of this, and I'd have a lot more characters I can display. Sure. But this is set up to actually go beyond this board and uh, hook it into a uh, seven segment display. What I do is, after I've set the BCD code here, I would transfer that into another array where I would convert BCD to seven segment, and you'd assign each one of these eight lights. Well, we have one extra, but seven of the lights would correspond to the seven segments in a seven segment display. So you'd actually have a digit that you could read without having to decode binary at 30 hertz. <laughs> that does seem a little bit like yes, a headache. Yes, but basically all these lights, all these uh, resistor pack setups would go away. The resistor packs here would go back on the board and then the ribbon cable would go off to where our seven segment display is. Now is the uh, is the hour counter going to just go it right wraps, around these? It wraps right around. Um, so you can leave this running for days. Days, yes. Days. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're not going to do that now. No, of course not. <laughs> but um, the, the, that's more or less it. We um, got this set up to do a whole bunch of different things. Uh, when I design a circuit card, I try to do it as generic as possible because you never know what else you're going to want to use Absolutely. it for. Yeah, so make it modular. In, in general, things are set up so that yeah, we, we're aiming for one project, but we have a bunch of others that are in the wings that we want to go for. Sure. So yeah. there we go with an uh, in-depth look at the software for the Blinken Lights project. Great. Thank you. We've actually had questions on that, so hopefully that answered the questions that we uh, had. And we'll put this in the show notes, the software. So great. Well, thank you for being with us, and uh, we'll catch you later. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.